It's the question no one wants to consider yet someday, but we will all have to answer. What should be done with your body or ashes once you have died? A new trend is towards natural or green burial. That's right. Baltimore County now holds the only exclusively natural burial cemetery in the state of Maryland. It opened just over a year ago, and our Denise Koch visited the cemetery called Serenity Ridge. <laughs> 177 rolling acres in Windsor Mill. Land that in the 60s was the site of the Berg family farm. When it passed to retired colorectal surgeon Howard Berg and his brothers, they made an unusual choice. So when I read about the green burial, it really resonated with who I am and how I've been living my life. Howard is an outdoorsman. He wants Serenity Ridge to become a nature preserve as well as an environmentally friendly burial site. These aren't things that we ever talked about, Ed and I. We, we should, but we didn't. Yeah. Most, At our most age. people don't. Yeah. But surprisingly, Ruth Farmeyer lost her husband, Ed, to leukemia February of last year. So he said he wanted a green burial. And uh, my daughter was there, and we hadn't heard of a green burial before. Her son in law, Mike, did some research and found Serenity Ridge. Mike shared the news with Ed in his final moments. Mike said to Ed, You may not care about this right now, but I want you to know we found a range for a green burial. And Ed said, in the loudest, clearest voice he'd used in three days, I do care. Oh. And that was the last thing he said. And about 30 minutes later, his breathing just got slower and slower and he died. Ed's grave was one of the first. Right now, there are 50 burials and internments scattered around the Sylvan acreage. The concept is simple no embalming, no chemicals of any kind, bodies dressed or wrapped in natural fabric shrouds or placed in wicker baskets or biodegradable wood boxes. For natural burial, you go about three and a half to four feet deep. You want to stay in the oxygenated portion of the soil, so that helps with more natural decomposition of the body. A headstone is provided using stone from a nearby quarry, and you can mark the grave as you wish. A lot of families bring, you know, organic things to put into the grave site. Uh, whether that be flowers or pine cones or feathers, things that are meaningful to them. Every time I come, I bring a couple of stones from our yard or our garden, and it, feel, it felt good to do that. The way a person's laid to rest can be a representation of the way that maybe they tried to live their life. Steve Kuhn has been in the profession for a decade, in the past working in more traditional cemeteries. It's so different, it's so peaceful, and if you think about it, we're not doing anything new. This is the way a burial was done 200 years ago. Indeed, it was only during the Civil War that bodies began to be embalmed to preserve them for rail transport so they could be buried at home. Today, the numbers for traditional burials are staggering. According to the Green Burial Council, every year Americans consume 4.3 million gallons of embalming fluid, 20 million feet of wood, 1.6 million tons of reinforced concrete, 17,000 tons of copper and bronze, 65,500 tons of steel. At Serenity Ridge, costs for the gravesite and the opening and closing of the ground total around $3,800. It's less for cremated remains which are allowed as long as they're in a biodegradable urn. Everything is done to preserve the natural beauty of the land. Birdwatcher Frank Marenghi has seen 130 species walking these grounds since June of last year. Does it give you pause at all that you're birding on an area that is also a sanctuary for bodies? Um, not really. I mean, it's sort of, um, they're pretty inconspicuous and it's, you know, it's a, it is a natural area and it's a natural process. Dust to dust, that's the way that it's really always been throughout all the advancements in modern medicine. The death rate has remained unchanged, one per person. And it will stay that way. That it will. Howard has already picked out his spot on the top of a hill under a tree. He says he isn't trying to change the industry or anyone's mind. He simply respects the natural world and offers Serenity Ridge to others who feel the same. This is much more meaningful to me, and I was hoping it would be more meaningful to other people, and it turns out that that is in fact the case. Oh, it's a great story with great insight. It's personal preference. Yes, I've never heard of anything like that yeah. before. All right, come